Ya. Yeah. Ada. You have to have some. See, there's a first stop here. The first stop says. The first stop says. It is not open to any kind of argument. No argument. I know who you are. I know your name. And then it says, we are satisfied. We are satisfied. Remember, I said satisfied. It says satisfied. Satisfied is Nigerian English or African English as it were. But the proper thing should be, I am satisfied. From there you have satisfaction. Satisfaction has secondary and primary stress matters. I'm coming to them. When we get to stress, you get all of that. Clearly, on you know, thought. Okay, so say, I can appreciate how you feel. It's a statement. And statements end, uh, okay, statements are capped with a full stop, as in this one to see. A question mark says there's going to be a right, even though there's going to be, uh, there's a, there's the, the, the last one is going to be a, the uh, WH question, which I will let you know later. So here, as I was saying, if I see you again, I am sure I will recognize you. If I see you again, I am sure I will recognize you. Meaning, it's a statement. I have made it very clear to you that I will recognize you when I see you again. Remember, that word is not recognized. That's the Nigerian English. It is recognized. Do you recognize me as a question? Rising to you? Yes, I recognize you. But here, it is a statement. I was, if I see you again, I will recognize you. But if you want to make it a question, you change it this way. If you, if, I, if you see me again, will you recognize me? Or are you asking me whether, if I see you again, whether I will recognize you? I will recognize you. So, uh, then the next one says, I hope this is understood. Let, let's, get, let's get back to it. I know, I know your name. It's a statement. It falls. We are satisfied. It's a statement. It falls at the end. I can appreciate how you feel. It's a statement. So, sorry, it's a statement. It falls. If I see you again, I am sure I will recognize you. If I see you again, I am sure I will recognize you. It falls. It's a statement. It doesn't demand an answer. Next. Rise for a tune. This tune is used to, you know, list items. And when you are listing, the very first, second, third, fourth, fifth, they will all hang as if, as if you didn't know what you wanted to say. The sixth one is going to land. So you have how many, how many items here? I have one, two, three, four, five, five. So four will hang. The final one will come down. That's what, you, that's what you call it, rise four. Meaning, the first three, or four rather, the first four will rise. The last one, which is the fifth one, will fall. Let's practice. It's a, it's actually, um, so this one says, we bought oranges, tomatoes. Remember, if tomato in the US, tomato in, the, in Britain. So let's go again, it says, we bought oranges, tomatoes, Cucumber, plantain. Let's take it again. We bought oranges, tomatoes, cucumber, plantain, and groundnuts. And groundnuts. Uh, many of you call that in groundnuts. That's bad. Because the truth is, you know, you know it is not ground. Ground, ground. It's not ground. It's ground. First of all, recognize this ground. Groundnuts. Once again, we bought oranges, tomatoes, cucumber, plantain, and groundnuts. That reminds me, that thing is not plantain, it's plantain. 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 As in you eat beans with plantain, or rice with plantain. I don't know how you guys got that, frankly. But stop it from today. When you, if you enter, even if it's a mama put area, just only at these local restaurants, get a... Uh, Madam, please, I want beans with plantain. The woman is not going to ask you, what did you say? Because she, the, 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 key, the key syllable is plan, 
I'm talking about Moses make about ten. The woman can understand that. Well, he is saying plantain, plantain. Uh, that's bad English. Is a plantain? It's plantain. Why do you go to school? Why do you claim you're educated when you can't say plantain? What's that? What's there in saying something the right way? Is, is it a crime? Why do we speak English? We cannot say it the right way. We cannot speak it right. Why do we even speak it? Okay, if you've not been to university, primary school, secondary school, fine by me. But you are in education. You are a teacher. You are a government worker. And you, you don't care about learning to say, oh well, I want to eat rice with plantain or beans with plantain. But what are you doing? Plantain, where did you see that? Look at the word plantain. Where did you see plantain there? Even if it was going to be plantain, it should be plantain. But it's not. Anyway, that's by the way. So finally, we say, we we'll go to what to call uh, the summarized fortune of about numbers. Many of you say zero is zero. No, it's not zero is zero. It is zero. 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 So zero is zero. So in numbers, it shouldn't be zero is zero or zero is zero. Two, two, two. Three, three, three. Four, four. That's bad English. Well, I don't blame you because no one told, told no one hitherto told you how to, you know, call numbers to anybody. So let's see how it is done. 003 888 5555. You see, 003 enhanced, no, 003 enhanced. 888 enhanced. 5555. So let's go again for real. 003 The second one here is 003 9999. Nine, nine, nine. Is it is it more than that? I think it's more. Hold on a minute, I'll do I'll delete one nine. Good. So let's go again. Zero zero three eight eight zero six nine nine nine. That's how it works. What's your phone number? So my phone number is zero zero three 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 zero six nine 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 nine. One more time. Zero zero 388-06-999, full stop. Good. So what is rising there is from here. This was for rise, 003-888-555. They are rising. The last one falls, 5555. That's the way it works. Then finally, we shall look at what you call WH question. That's a, a question, or rather a speech, that demands an answer, but that falls at the end. We've looked at rise and tear, then rise fall. Let's look at another aspect of question. You ask a question, that question does not rise at the end. That type of question is called WH question. Now, when a question must rise at the end, it is called yes, no question. Do you know me? You say, no, I don't know. If you like, it says simply no. Well, here, you are asking a question. The person must reply something. It's not just about yes or no. What do you want? It doesn't simply say no. Or yes, you say something to defend the question. So here, a WH question is a question that does not rise at the end, yet demands an answer. It demands an answer. It is cut with a question mark. That's how you know it. So here, we are saying such a question or such questions are, you know, set up by these relative pronouns on the board, they are what, why, where, who, I mean how, who, whom, whose, when. Now, once you say what do you want, it cannot be what do you want. What is this? Not what is this. 
What for? Not what for. If I say what for, it's a question. You must answer it. But it does not rise. I say what for? The so next one here says why? Why are you here? Why me? Why call me? You know, sometimes people say, why, why calling me? Since you don't want to talk to me, why calling me? That's bad English. You should go, why call me? Okay, I don't want to come to your house again. Totally, you are reappearing in my house. And I say, why come here? If you said you were not going to come to my house again. Why come now? So the thing is, it's not about why, why coming? Why asking me? You know the answer. You told me, you told me you know the answer. So why ask me? Okay. Next one says, where? So I just say, where are you? Where are you? That's bad English. That word is where. Where, not where. Where are you? One. Where are you? Two. You can link it. Use linking. The role liquid or a sound it can be linked. The rule is, if the word, if the word you want to link, Ends in a vowel sound, and the word preceding it ends in in in, in that row sound, that row liquid. We call it approximate, uh, an approximate in in, in in the consonants. It's a voiced sound. So you say, "Where are you? Where is it? Wherever." So where? Where are you? Where are you? Mom, where are you? Where are you? Both are okay. But if you if you like more than English a lot, you say, where are you? Good. Then this one says, how? How may I help you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Better. How are you today? Now look, see how it's done. If I say, how are you today? They say, I'm fine, thank you. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. This is correct. I'm fine, thank you. Correct. I'm fine, thank you. Correct. Don't ask me, are you? Except you are my mate. In Africa, we have traditions. Our tradition does not guarantee or require a child to say, I say to a child, how are you today? The child says, I'm fine, thank you, sir. And the child says, are you? That's not African. That's British or American or white people. Much as we study English, we can't be white people. We, we can't adopt every culture they have. Because it's not necessary. Good. So, uh, I say, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. How is it? How, how, uh, how, how come? Okay, that, I like that. How, that's how comes you are here. It should be how come. I Meaning, how did it happen you were here? So, how come you don't know? How come you didn't see him? How come you allowed that man to walk up to me unimpeded? No one stopped him. Good. This one says, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who is it? Now, when someone knocks at the door, bum, 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 you say, who is it? Don't say, it's I. No, the right, the right response should be, it's me. Because it's conversation. Besides, it's mostly, it's mostly, who, who's, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Then if you're inside and someone knocks, you say, I'll get the door. That's modern English. Get the door, please. Get the door. Um, this is the phone ringing. He said, the phone is ringing. I'll get the phone. I'll get it. Things like that. So, the next one says, who? Whom do you want? I want her. I want him. Whom do you see when you look at me? I said, I see a human being. Whom do you want? Whom did he give it to? I gave it to him. I gave it to her. Next. Whose? Whose book is this? Whose marker is this? Whose phone is this? Now, see how it works. Some of you, some of you have this, you may have this marker in your hands, and you say, who, who has this? That's bad English. It should be, who owns this? Once that thing is in your hand, it's no longer about who has it. It should be, who owns this? But if you keep it here and it's missing, you come back, you can't see it. You say, 
Who has my marker? Who has my file? Somebody said, oh, I, I, I have it. I took it. So be careful. So I say, oh, whose book is this? It's mine. Whose son are you? 